Uh, it was right around uh, 1982, I had a, uh, the doctor found out I had a prolapse mitral valve. And uh, I was able to work for about almost 18 years before it became a problem. His situation was very complicated because his original operation uh, was a very long operation. His, his valve had been repaired. Uh, the repair was not satisfactory. Uh, that resulted in a replacement. Uh, there was some problem with the valve replacement and the surgeon had to go back and then replace the valve a second time and that was associated with one of the dreaded complications of mitral valve surgery, which is an atrioventricular disassociation where you have a tear at the junction of the atrium, which is the top chamber of the heart, and the ventricle, which is the bottom chamber of the heart. And that can lead to life-threatening bleeding, and that had to be fixed with a patch before a third prosthetic valve was put in. I went for 14 years before that valve wore out. Then I started having pro breathing problems. Uh, Dr. Savage asked me to see Mr. Broman after he had evaluated him and done a heart catheterization. Uh, so I saw him while he was in the hospital uh, during that process and we were able to figure out what was wrong with him and uh, he had a rather complex history so it took a little bit of diagnostic evaluation to figure out exactly what had uh, taken place. He had a uh, bioprosthetic or uh, tissue valve in his mitral position, a pig valve, and that was placed uh, about 15 years ago and those valves we know don't last forever and his valve had degenerated and he had suddenly torn one of the leaflets of his mitral valve and he went from having a perfectly competent valve to having severe mitral regurgitation suddenly and that's a situation that's poorly tolerated and he had sudden onset of shortness of breath and class 3 congestive heart failure literally immediately after that took place. It scared me because I remembered how bad the last one was, but um, they had a new, new procedure that they were going to try. So we really felt that to go back and do an open mitral valve operation and to try to remove that surgically implanted valve would be a very treacherous procedure and associated with an extremely high risk of a repeat uh, episode and we really felt after reviewing his case with uh, several of the surgeons in our group that a conventional approach uh, with open heart surgery was prohibitive in his case. i tell you one thing, I'm very glad if this works out that I went through this way instead of opening my chest up because I had a rough time with, with that open heart surgery. Probably for about two years now we've had a transcatheter valve program which has primarily been uh, implanting aortic valves uh, for aortic stenosis. So it involved uh, taking a, a valve on a catheter that was designed for the aortic position and turning it upside down so that the flow would be in the correct direction and then implanting that valve inside of Mr. Broman's degenerated mitral valve. We were able to put together some things that were familiar with some things that were unfamiliar yet well described in the medical literature and come up with what we thought was a very novel solution to a otherwise unfixable problem. Everything was so great in the way they talked it that, uh, that I was able to, I think, do much better than what they expected. Because I was up walking and everything that they required of me to do, I could. And I wasn't hardly in any, I don't think I could say I, I was in any pain. And afterwards, um, and we knew everything was all right, a lot of times some of the doctors would come out and say something. I had three different doctors come out one at a time and give me a big hug and said that he did real well. You know, we're treating a lot of patients that uh, prior to this technology had few options. 
uh, and it's, it's been very gratifying to see uh, this technology translate into a very minimally invasive way to treat life-threatening problems and it's resulted in very good outcomes and, and short recovery times.